Hi everybody, this is John Abel. Uh, the date is November 18th, 2008, 2014. I'm, uh, uh, this is a string theory practical experiment and essentially what I believe I have demonstrated uh, successfully is um, at least a mechanical representation of what I believe is a singularity event. Um, I wrapped two bifiller wires uh, as many of you know, I've, I've worked in the last uh, four years in, um, with AM radio wave resonance and Tesla experiments and Stan Meyer stuff. So um, when I talk about bifiller wires, this is the reason why. My experiments led me to build this type of wire. And I was in the process of building a bifiller wire made out of uh, two pieces of, of, of door, doorbell wire, it's called. It's, it's essentially bifiller thinner bifiller wire than, than speaker wire and it's and it's not attached to each other so I, I used that and I um, started simply wrapping it up on a drill um, I have two points so uh, really all there is is this spool I'm using as a terminator uh, a, um, a mechanical terminator for the twisting effect that's going to occur when I when I put the drill on the other end and essentially I'm, I'm just twisting up I'm twisting up this bifiller string or wire this is wire and um, I was trying to make um, <laughs> and, 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 and inadvertently uh, you know I was trying to make a Tesla emitter with better and better wire but inadvertently I think I understand a little bit better now what is needed so um, we're going to make some toroid shaped emitters now that I understand better what what is needed and you guys are going to get a better understanding of how string theory works of how singularity events work it's very intuitive you don't necessarily have to be a physicist but boy if you watch a lot of science fiction it does help um, that's you know I, I went to school for computer engineering and and uh, I knew to look some of this stuff up some of the Tesla stuff up on the internet simply because I had an IT background and it was it was fairly easy to search for things and um, coming across this was um, kind of a mix of watching the elegant universe and um, I think the, the education that put me over the top was watching uh, the latest video with uh, uh, the the primer fields that's that was a show that I watched about a week and a half ago that put my education over the top and got my brain really thinking about this so um, it seems like um, my life has been one accidental experiment after another and I've uh, kind of put put myself through a research push over the last week and a half and um, redefined what I thought I knew about reality and um, created this uh, structure this three-dimensional structure um, you, I keep showing you the top view the, the three-dimensional view is more like this so you can see that the armatures are actually curving up and I did want to explain something uh, there was an, uh, actually two events that happened uh, the singularity event that I created uh, happened because the drill I was wanting kept wanting to pull back towards the termination coil and I knew there was a force there and I kept pulling against it and keeping the drill steady. Well, when it got to the point where the drill would not stay put anymore, I simply um, allowed it or submitted that energy back into the string and pushed the, um, um, or repositioned the drill quickly and rapidly um, from its, its, its position to about a foot closer to the termination coil. So all that energy that had been built up in the string was, was released at that point and this um, it, it essentially created a bend, a knotted bend that, that pointed straight down, and I knew that was my 90-degree bend that I was looking for. And um, as I twisted and twisted and twisted the wire more, it created more and more of these armature structures, which are essentially defining on a, a building level um, a, a higher and higher resolution uh, the tighter and tighter I pull this string, uh, or twist this string. So here's my proof. I did not... <laughs> twist any of this by hand, I guarantee you that. Uh, the, the, the fourth armature is really interesting because, like I said, again, there was two events that took place 
Uh, that event uh, was uh, an accident of the spool, the termination spool, falling off a box that it's sitting on back there, and it fell on the floor. So it, it, the, the twist itself had only been built down about three inches. So it, was, it had been twisted down this far, and I was expecting something to show up here. But when that spool fell, it was completely by accident. It finished itself off and then wrapped itself into this tight ball at the end with, I don't know, I guess that's a possible satellite, gravitational satellite right there. Or I, I, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not a physicist. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's why the other three look correct. These three were built first. The fourth one was, showed up last. And... Um, and just as as the process was finishing up, I I did the spool the spool did um, accidentally fall and created some sort of a a tighter gravitational well at that point. So um, I still believe that I have created a four uh, armature three dimensional toroid structure, um, or at least uh, the representation of which is made by uh, this wire, or the perim the perimeter is would be defined by this wire, um, and I think this is going to make a very good. Uh, uh, Tesla antenna. <laughs> I just don't see how it can't at this point. So uh, we're going to try some exp more experiments. I might try to build some more of these structures. Um, I have no doubt, actually. And uh, I, it, this is for everybody. So. Here you go, guys.